Good morning. Hello, friends. Hi, Sam and Henry. There you are. Hi, Samantha and Benny. There you are. How you doing? Hi, Zayra and Oliver and Iris. How's everyone doing today? Hannah and Noah, hello. I saw your grandma yesterday. Hi, Kayla. How are your little ones doing? Could you send me a picture of you with all of them? I'd love to see that. Good morning, Natea. Good morning, Madeline. Zachary, Aria, and Colin. Hi, guys. So glad you're joining us. I'll give you a clue. Today's story will be about what? Right. Did you say fire station? Yes. Today's story is called The Fire Station. I'm reading another story by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Merchenko. I wanted to bring some little police cars and fire, fire cars, but this is all I could find. Why do you think I wanted to bring a police car? Whisper to someone next to you your prediction. Okay, you'll find out during this story. If you have any little fire trucks, fire engines, any little firemen, if you have any little firemen ladders or poles, go ahead and grab them. I'll wait. Bring it by you for our story. Okay. Can anyone predict what will the story be about? Have you ever been to a fire station? I see a little boy and girl. I see a fire dog. What's going to happen? Let's find out. Here's a nice picture of the fire station. And here's the boy and girl in front. I'm going to try to hold it up nicely so you can see it. Okay. Michael and Sheila were walking down the street. As they passed the fire station, Sheila said, Michael, let's go ride a fire truck. Well, said Michael, I think maybe I should ask my mother. And I think maybe I should ask my father. And I think maybe, I think we should go in, said Sheila. Then she grabbed Michael's hand and pulled him up to the door. How are Michael and Sheila very different? Mm -hmm. Who are you more like? Are you more like Michael? You're going to wait and ask permission, Mommy and Daddy. Are you more like Sheila? You're just going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, everybody's different. Are they going to go on in? Let's find out. Here's a picture of the door open, the fireman. A fire dog in there, Sheila and Michael are at the door. Sheila knocked, blam, 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 blam. A large fireman came out and asked, what can I do for you? Well, said Michael, maybe you could show us a fire truck and hoses and rubber boots and ladders and all sorts of stuff like that. Certainly, said the fireman. And maybe, said Sheila, you will let us drive a fire truck. Certainly not, said the fireman. Why'd he say that? Was he not being nice? No, you're right, because it wouldn't be safe. If you said it wouldn't be safe and they're too young, those would have been good answers. Here they are. Sheila's at the, at the steering wheel and Michael's climbing up. Oh, look how big those wheels are. They went in and looked at ladders and hoses and big rubber boots. Then they looked at little fire trucks and big fire trucks and enormous fire trucks. When they were done, Michael said, let's go. Right, said Sheila, let's go into the enormous fire truck. How is Sheila's let's go different than Michael's let's go? Tell your answer to someone next to you. Whoa, this looks like a lot's going on here. See the firemen jumping on the fire truck? You see all the smoke coming out from the exhaust? Let's see what happened. While they were in the truck, the fire alarm went off. Clang, 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 clang. Oh no, said Michael. Oh yes, said Sheila. Sheila, then she grabbed Michael and pulled him into the back seat. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, what do you think's gonna happen? Go ahead, say your answer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Firemen came running from all over. They slid down poles and ran downstairs. 
Then they jumped onto the truck and drove off. The firemen didn't look in the back seat. Michael and Sheila were in the back seat. Did you remember that they were in the back seat? What do you think's going to happen? Are they going to be in trouble? Let's find out. Wow, look at that. <gasps> the water in the hose is being sprayed on the fire. The kids look like they're all covered with soot. They came to enormous fire. Lots of yucky colored smoke got all over everything. It colored Michael yellow, green, and blue. It colored Sheila purple, green, and yellow. When the fire chief saw them, he said, what are you doing here? Sheila said, we came in the fire truck. We thought maybe it was a bus. We thought maybe it was a taxi. We thought maybe it was an elevator. We thought maybe, I think maybe I'd better take you home, said the fire chief. He put Michael and Sheila in his car and drove them away. Did Sheila really think those things? Did she really think it was a taxi or an elevator? Why'd she say that? <laughs> I think this is somebody's mom. I think it's Michael's mom. How does she look? And look at Michael, the back of him. How does he look? What do you think mom is going to say? Did you whisper to someone next to you, your brother or sister or your friend or mom or dad or grandma or grandpa? Let's find out. When Michael got home, he knocked on the door. His mother opened it and said, you messy boy, you can't come in and play with Michael. You're too dirty. She slammed the door right in Michael's face. Why'd she do that? Who did she think that was? How come she didn't recognize him? Right. Let's see what happens next. Here's Michael in a bathtub with lots of bubbles. My own mother said, Michael, she didn't even know me. He knocked on the door again. His mother opened the door and said, you dirty boy, you can't come in and play with Michael. You're too dirty. You're absolutely filthy. You're a total mess. You're, oh my, oh no, you're Michael. Michael went inside and lived in the bathtub for three days until he got clean. Do you think that was an exaggeration? Yeah, how long do you think he really stayed in the bathtub? Right. How long do you stay in the bathtub? Let's see what happens with Sheila at her house. Here's a picture. It looks like Sheila's dad. And here's Sheila looking all happy and all messy. When Sheila came home, she knocked on the door. Her father opened it and saw an incredibly messy girl. He said, you can't come in to play with Sheila. You're too dirty. He slammed the door right in her face. Ow, said Sheila, my own father, and he didn't even know me. She kicked and pounded on the door as loudly as she could. Her father opened the door and said, now stop that racket. You can't come in to play with Sheila. You're too dirty. You're absolutely filthy. You're a total mess. You're, oh my, oh no, you're Sheila. Look, he moved his glasses and then he recognized her. Why didn't he recognize her from the beginning? What do you think he's going to do? Let's see. Does that look similar to the picture of Michael? Only with Michael, it was his mommy. With Sheila, it's her daddy. And what's he doing? Right. Right, said Sheila. I went to a fire in the back of a fire truck and I got all smoky. I wasn't even scared. Sheila went inside and lived in the bathtub for guess how many days? <laughs> five days until she got clean. Again, that's a big exaggeration. She probably didn't stay in the bathtub that long, did she? Okay, this doesn't look like firemen. What does that look like? Mm-hmm. Let's find out what happened next. Then Michael took Sheila on a walk past the police station. Is that what you said it looked like? You were right. He told her, if you ever take me in another fire truck, I am going to ask the police to put you in jail. Jail, yelled Sheila. Let's go look at the jail. What a great idea. Oh, no, yelled Michael. And Sheila grabbed his hand and pulled him into the 
police station. And that's the end of the story. What do you think's gonna happen next? Take a minute and predict, tell somebody next to you what you think's gonna happen. They started out by the fire station and at the end of the story, they're ending up by the, right, the police station. Now do you know why I had this little car here? Right. So what do you think they'll do at the police station? Mm-hmm. Do you think they'll get to ride in a police car? Do you think they'll get locked up in jail? <laughs> so today's story was about a fire station and now the police station. And now that we're done with the story, what could you draw a picture of? So get out some pencils and paper, maybe some crayons, or some markers if you'd like. And I wonder what you'd like to draw. Can you draw yourself and your brother or your sister or a friend? And what would you do if you made a visit to a police station? What would you do if you went to the fire station? Or maybe there's someplace else you'd like to go. And of course, I'd love it if you'd write a couple sentences, or better yet, make it into a little story. After you do, ask mom and dad to share it with me. They can email it to me or text it to me. I'd love to see your pictures. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story, boys and girls. Another great story by Robert Munch. Love you. Love Mimi. Bye.